Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. We are officially requesting a wellness check on <laughs> Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Um, in the next video, we have a clip of him. Sorry in advance to everybody who just can't stand the whiny, breathy voice. But um, we have another clip here where he is finally starting to condemn the actual violent and hate-targeted attacks that are happening on Jewish schools and synagogues all across the country. Parents dropped off their daughters this morning at a Jewish girls' elementary school that was shot at over the weekend. And in Montreal, another Jewish school was targeted by an overnight shooting last night. I was, of course, relieved that no one was hurt, but I'm disgusted by these vile and despicable acts of anti-Semitism. It needs to stop now. To Jewish parents and students across the country, we stand with you. We will always work to safeguard your right to live proudly Jewish lives in Canada, we're, of course, working with local law enforcement and will utilize all available federal resources to ensure that the perpetrators are held to account. We cannot and will not let this anti-Semitism stand in Canada. You know, Tamar Ugolini, I'm getting a little sick and tired after hearing this for seven months now. Uh, it, meaning the anti-Semitism, the Jew hatred, uh, has to stop now. Do something about it. And when he and, and when Trudeau talks about reaching out to local law enforcement with resources, uh, what are the resources for? Uh, buying Java and Timbits at the local Tim Hortons to keep the pro Hamas thugs uh, nice and refreshed while they chant genocide in the streets. I mean, you know, Tamara. Uh, a lot of our viewers no doubt know I've been arrested at two pro-Hamas rallies just for the suspicion I might ask an insensitive question to the members of the Hitler Youth Movement. And uh, yeah, again, another example of uh, Minority Report uh, from 2002 becoming the reality in Toronto in 2024. These uh, we, we got one victory in court. We are waiting for another uh, trial to happen in August. And yet we have these people chanting genocide. Nothing to see here, folks. We had somebody charged earlier uh, this year, Tamara, for flying a flag of an outlawed Palestinian terrorist organization, its charter, uh, actually in writing decrees the death of the Jewish people. Uh, when it went to court, the Crown threw it out. No reasonable grounds of prosecution. Yet me as a journalist just showing up on King Street and literally in the town square, Nathan Phillips Square, uh, adjacent to City Hall, they go uh, balls to the wall against me to have me con convicted. For what? Nothing. So I, again, to bring it back to our point, these politicians, starting with blackface, have to stop saying this has to stop now and do something tangible because I'm getting sick about it. And by the way, when I say tangible, by that I don't mean issuing uh, 5,000 visas for Gazans to come into Canada. And that's not 5,000 people, folks. That could mean 5,000 family members, so multiple of 5,000. I say that because, yes, there's a, uh, a war going on there. Yes, there are innocent civilians. But we can't take this risk, Tamara. We know in a recent poll, more than 80% of Gazans support Hamas. You want to bring people like that? into our country we already have festering hatred everywhere and you want to go to the big league haters and import them here no do something enforce the law we have hate speech laws we have laws against vandalism physical assault arson and because of the identity politics to mary ugolini i just see two-tier policing and two tiers two-tier uh politicking yeah well and we do have trespass laws as well, but you would never know it based on the growing encampments of, uh, I, lo I love the, the way you word that, the Hitler Youth Movement, yeah. uh, growing encampments at our universities all across Canada. 
And, you know, we saw, just to bring up again, the hypocrisy of the bureaucracy in 2022, when the truckers were idling and impolitely honking on side streets, public property, not private property and not fencing off and cordoning off entire areas where nobody is allowed through unless they're pre-approved to do so, they invoked unprecedented martial law, the Emergencies Act, to quell and deal with that peaceful, peaceful protest and peaceful assembly. And now we have the proliferation of encampments blockading off areas of private property. And the courts are going to take three more weeks in the case of the U of T encampment to try to legally dismantle it. Um, the, this is just absolute upside down bizarro world that we're living in. And meanwhile, we have Alexa Lavoie heading out in Montreal where a some, some sort of hooded thug shot up a Jewish high school earlier this week at 3.36 in the morning a.m. shows him walking to the school unloading his weapon and running away and the police weren't on scene for i think it was a f- almost 48 hours later just this is upside down bizarro world policing lack of enforcement of the rule of law and uh, many of these people as you've mentioned are not even canadian citizens we saw the way that the trudeau regime treated canadian citizens when they invoked martial law, the Emergencies Act, to deal with the trucker convoy in 2022. And then here we are having people on visas and other means of of obtaining entry into the country, and they are treated with the utmost respect. We can't even begin to fathom penetrating their encampment situation, where I would argue that many of them aren't even spending a robust amount of time. They're just hoping that the fences don't come crashing in and anybody see that the gig, the, the jig is up. Um, and and Tamara, th- there's, i, I got to tell you, I, I think law enforcement has been worse than ineffectual. They are aiding and abetting, I think, uh, these thugs to continue pushing the line i mean right now we have had we've seen video evidence of toronto police officers uh being assaulted by um people wearing these uh kafifa disguises um and the cops turn the other way it's outrageous our beloved big boss man ezra levant he was at the press conference on the weekend in which uh the a, a toronto police service detective was talking about the shooting at the toronto jewish girls school by the way he never used the word jewish right which is kind of odd don't you think um but ezra's question i'm paraphrasing here was that do you think given the way in which you know the police have turned a blind eye to actual law enforcement that this has emboldened the thugs on the pro hamas uh side uh the officer would not answer the question he said i'm just here to talk about the shooting at the school and then eventually ran away to his vehicle and by the way it was his personal vehicle looked like it had an illegal tint to me but hey what the hell uh one law for thee and one law for me i suppose so i really think that's what's going on it's Mm two-tiered policing and when these thugs see that uh they can get away with well, I'm not saying murder, although I wouldn't be surprised if that's the next uh, step in this, uh, Tamara. Um, well, you know, can you blame them? Uh, the, the lunatics are running the asylum. 